was about to open the door to the next room when I saw something strange at the end of the alley, but it was just for an instant. The next moment there was nothing. I thought, am I hallucinating things? As I'd eaten since I'd entered this place. The longer I spent here, the more reality starts to feel slightly altered. You're watching another video from the Susbox. Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and proceed with caution. This is a continuation from our previous video. If you haven't watched that yet, please click this link to check it out first. As I slowly opened my eyes, all the happiness from my face faded away and was replaced by utter disappointment. The reality was something else, something even scarier. I realized that I am still somewhere in that same place. I immediately turned around to find the hole which I had entered from, but was stunned. There was nothing but a plain wall behind me. Now I was in a giant, sprawling warehouse area with concrete walls and floors, and exposed rebar almost everywhere. It was quite similar to the area where I was before, except for the moist carpet and yellow walls. Dim fluorescent lights were placed on the walls and were flickering every other second, giving the area a very creepy look. The buzzing of lights was still there, but was less annoying as compared to the yellow rooms. The floor was still wet, in the sense that there was low-hanging fog spread everywhere without any known source, causing condensation resulting in forming puddles in the floor and patches. What the hell is this? Where am I now? was the only words that I could get out of my mouth. Abruptly, after looking at that creepy abandoned warehouse of some kind, fear started to overtake me again. I didn't know how to proceed further, or if there was going to be any end to this maze. But, clearly, staying here was not an option at all. I need to get out of here, I said to myself. I was not certain how, but I must find a way out of this hell. I moved forward to explore this place. On walking a few steps in the right direction, I found something written on the wall with graffiti saying, Level 1. I was shocked at that. My mind started to work and I figured, maybe this is some kind of puzzle, or game, with different levels, and all I need to do is figure out how to exit. Suddenly I heard a sound that vaguely sounded like a woman in distress screaming for help. I rushed forward in that direction, hoping to find that person. Following the trail of that scream brought me to a room with big arrows on the wall facing the door. I opened the door and ended up in a large alleyway with many doors. The scream seems to be emanating from behind the door. I opened one door and yelled back, Hello? Is someone here? I heard the echoes of my words that were reflecting back to me from those lifeless concrete walls. However, I continued walking and opening any door I came across, while walking under the dim but flickering lights. All rooms were empty with nothing in them. I was about to open the door to the next room, when I saw something strange at the end of the alley, but it was just for an instant. The next moment there was nothing. I thought, am I hallucinating things? As I'd eaten since I'd entered this place, the longer I spent here, the more reality starts to feel slightly altered. With every open space, illuminated by the flickering halogen lights and the same gray walls and pillars, I began to think, am I going to die here like this? I was venturing into a featureless nightmare, propounded by the hunger nagging at my belly. My stomach grumbles and I keep walking. On my way, I felt like there was some sort of crude painting on the nearby wall, but it suddenly disappeared as I tried to make direct contact with it for a better look. After checking into a couple rooms, my heart fluttered as I found a room that was slightly different from the others. I saw a small side shelf. Above that shelf, a phrase that states, Welcome to Hell, was written with a red paint spray. I was more than happy with what I was seeing now, there was hope in my eyes, hope that I was not alone here. Humans! There are humans here. I rushed toward the shelf and opened each drawer. I found a bottle of almond water and some energy bars. Without a second thought, I drank the water to my fullest. Besides water and energy bars, there were some anti-anxiety pills, 
and a note saying to follow the signs. I ate and drank my fill, which helped me gain the strength to keep going. Plus, I kept the spare bars with me. On opening the last drawer, I found an illuminating red key that seemed very fancy to me. I thought maybe it was the key to exiting this place. Now all I had to do is to find that door and put in the key to get out of here. I walked with determination. After checking a couple of empty chambers, I end up in a huge hall with walls and pillars. I followed the arrows and dived into the area. I found another writing. To my dismay, it reads, There is no escape. But I moved further regardless. Suddenly I heard a weird noise. It was a strange roaring noise that I did not recognize. That was getting clearer and clearer. The lights were getting dim and changing to orange. I did not understand what was happening until I saw the same thing coming towards me that I witnessed earlier. It was a strange, black, eight-foot, long, slender figure that was approaching me and making a horrible sound that sounded like distorted human groans. It was a humanoid that seemed to be made of cable for some reason. The environment of the room was changing as that weird creature was getting closer. In an instant, I felt an unassailable dread wash over me. I ran as fast as I can. It was the only option I had. I dashed across the room while that creature was gaining on me. The room ended up in a T-shaped hallway. I zagged right. I was running without even bothering to look where I was going, taking entryways and corridors at random to get more and more distance between me and that creature. After running for a continuous 30 minutes, I felt a little safer as the lights turned normal and I couldn't hear any roaring sound. What was that? In my whole career, I had never witnessed anything like that. Now I wanted to leave this place as soon as possible. I sat, leaning on the side of the concrete wall, panting to catch my breath. Come to think of it, that distorted sound from that entity sounded like it was trying to say, Wait. Don't go. Or am I going insane? Thank you for watching another one of our videos of the Backroom series. What would you do if you were chased down by that mass of cables? Let us know in the comments below. Like our video and subscribe if you'd like to watch the next part. Until then, feel free to check out our other videos.